Scholars have mentioned that patience is of three types. There are three types of patience, my dear brothers and sisters. The first type of patience, which is the lowest level, the lowest level is to demonstrate patience when a calamity afflicts you. This is the lowest level because it's out of your control. You cannot dictate your circumstances. You lose a job, financial catastrophe, the death of a loved one. You cannot dictate it. So to demonstrate patience here means what? You control your tongue and you have an optimistic attitude with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have to understand. You can feel sad. It's human nature to feel sad. You can cry, you can grieve, but you cannot question the wisdom or the mercy or the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot question it in your heart, much less verbalize it in your tongue. So patience here means to control even your thoughts. Even your thoughts need to be controlled at a time of calamity and especially your tongue. And you do not question the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the lowest level of patience and it is one that indeed Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that this is one of those levels that whoever masters it has and especially at the death of a loved one our Prophet ﷺ mentioned that of the greatest calamities and there are many hadith about this is to lose a young one a child is to lose a child and that is why losing a child and being patient is automatically linked to being entered into Jannah. There are many a hadith about the one who is patient at the death of a young one, at the child, and they demonstrate their patience. Allah Azza wa Jal will cause that child to hold on to his parents' hands and insist in front of Allah, no matter what his parents have done, they were patient at his death, insist that they will come into Jannah with his hands. So this is of that level, which is to demonstrate patience at the time of a calamity. The second level of patience is to be patient and restrain yourself from committing sins and disobeying Allah. Now this at times is more difficult because committing sins is in front of us. We have the luxury, the option of committing so many sins. Being patient here means controlling, withholding, with, with, with straining, holding ourselves back, reining ourselves in, checking ourselves in. We don't go and do something that is tempting in front of us. And this level of patience is one that the month of Ramadan helps us to master. Think about it. In Ramadan, we are withholding ourselves from food and water. We're withholding ourselves from the sensual pleasures. So we're learning to withhold ourselves from that which is not allowed for us. The only reason we don't eat and drink, Allah says don't eat and drink. So we don't. So then how about Allah says don't drink alcohol. Don't take drugs. Don't do this. Don't do that. The lists are there. So when we master withholding ourselves from food and water, we're also mastering withholding ourselves from the other sins. And the highest level of patience, which is really the most difficult, because it's so casual, because we don't even think about it, is to be patient, i.e. to restrain yourself away from time wasters and restrict yourself to that which is beneficial and the worship of Allah. To constantly be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be patient, i.e. withhold yourself, restrain yourself from that which is maybe even halal, maybe even permissible. But too much of permissible also becomes makruh. So to withhold yourself from too much of permissible things, too much of frivolity, too much of time wasters, and to be more beneficial, to do extra Qur'an, extra Salah, extra Dhikr, extra charity. And once again, the month of Ramadan teaches us this type of patience as well. Because all of us, we began doing a little bit extra. Some extra Qur'an, some extra charity. The month of Ramadan is the month of all types of ibadah. So we ingrain ourselves to be patient in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is what Allah Azza wa Jal mentions in the Quran وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاصْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا Command your family to pray and be patient as you command them to pray. Be patient. وَاصْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا That's the highest level to you, yourself and your family constantly be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being demonstrating patience in the Allahu Akbar Allah